project I'm fixing to start working on now is uh, two bookcases. Um, not necessarily bookcases, but one of them's a shelf for the bathroom um, for a lady to put her towels and bathroom supplies on. And the bottom is going to have a laundry basket. It'll be so many, so much height off the bottom so we get the laundry basket in there. Um, the bathroom shelf is going to be six foot tall, 19 wide, and two feet deep. And the two and a half to three um, feet at the bottom of it is going to go for the laundry basket to stand in. And then I'm building also a shelf for the living room for our living room. Um, it's going to hold some different items. It's going to be three foot tall. I have three shelves also and be 20 inches wide, 10 foot deep. I mean, 10 inches deep, not 10 feet, 10 inches deep. Um, it's going to be made out of, it's going to be made out of this wood here. The one by, it's a one by 10 by eight. I've got it cut. This one's cut down the three feet for I'm building the three foot shelf first. Uh, this is white wood pine. And, um, uh, sometimes I use plywood for this, but this is a whole lot easier just buying it already like this. And this is a lot more smoother and a lot nicer really than using plywood. Plywood's a lot of work. But um, I'm going to stain these in ebony stain to match a piece I did for her back last fall. It's also in ebony. It's an entryway table for her house. Um, so I took this now, stuff. Over, I took this over to the. These were eight. These were six feet long. So I was able to get two sides for the three foot one out of one piece. Took it over to the uh, sliding miter saw and cut them, and then I. Um, had to rip them down a little bit because they were too deep. They were like 11 and a half inches deep and she only wants 10. So I could, I ripped it down to like 10 and a half just to give her a little bit more uh, shelf space to the front. And the way that I, uh, <clears throat> the way I like to do the shelves um, to make sure they line up right is I'll butt the two boards together. These are the two sides. And I, um, I went two feet in each section for the shelves. And I like to get my uh, get my ruler here and line it up to go all the way across. And I'll score the line all the way across that way. And then I'll do the same thing for the next line down. The reason why is because that gets it level all the way across. You ain't got to measure from here to here and then mark it, measure from here to here and then mark it. You just lay them side by side, mark it all the way across. So it gets gets uh, even that way. And um, then once I... Uh, get those lines drawn. This thing here is a block that's the same depth of the wood, the same depth of the shelves. And I'll, I'll lay it below the first line and I'll score another line behind it. And then I'll mark X, I'll mark X's there because this is where the shelf's gonna sit right inside those two lines. Um, it's the same depth of the of this strip here. Then what I'll do is I'll, uh, <clears throat> I've sanded all these things down with 120 grit sandpaper. Um, I've ran them through the, I ran the shelves through the planer a little bit. Now uh, they were just a little bit bowed, not much, but just a little bit. So when I ran it through the planer that takes that bow out of it and it cuts the sides off and cuts the, the hump out. So I did that, <coughs> sanded them and now I've got the shelves cut. They're sanded and cut as well. <coughs> And I had to rip these down as well because of the, the depth of them was a little bit more than what we needed. So I lined the, I'll, I'll put pocket hole screws in these, attach it to the sides. And since I've got this thing, I'm some of this stuff out of the way. Since I've got this, these sides marked already, I could turn them, put them face each other. Cooperate. So I have them face each other. That way, when with the lines marked on where I want to put the shelving, do the pocket holes in them, and then I can line them up to have them go exactly where they need to go. And that way, you ain't got to worry about getting them unlevel or anything because as long as this is flush across the top here, the shelves are going to be flush as well. They're going to be even with the front, and they're going to be level all the way across. That's, that's the way I learned how to do that part. Um, it's a lot easier than measuring from the top to bottom and then draw the line on the bicycle and whatever.
Ended down um, now. Got everything cut to length and ripped down to the width I need, the depth I need it. And next thing to do is I'll be drilling pocket holes in my shelves. And then, of course, I will be attaching them to the board here. Like I said, this is going to be stained in ebony stain, which is like a black stain. Not quite black, black, but it's darker. It's what I used for her entryway table back last fall. She wanted to match. So um, that's going to be the next step. Getting ready to run some pallet wood through my planer. Um, this is going to be the backing of the bookcase that I'm building. Well, not a bookcase, but a case for someone's living room. They're going to put different items in it. But this is going to be the backing of it. I've planed this side already. You can see how smooth it is. Um, I'll plane this side after I get the other pieces done. But um, it's like a one by, probably about a one by three, maybe. Um, but it's just like getting it out of the store. So I've got a couple of nail holes there, which that can be fixed. But I'm fixing to turn the planer on, do the other piece, and show you the difference. All right, it's pretty loud back here. So this is uh, this is what it looks like before I plane it. Um, I'm fixing to get really loud back here. But um, I'm going to plane this piece right here. Show you exactly how it wants to look like when it comes out. All right, this is this is it after I ran it through the planer. Um, pretty smooth. Got a little mark there, but that's just because it's a little bit damp. But um, it'll dry out. I'll, I'll flip them now and do this side uh, once I get um, get the get the planer lowered a little bit I'll do this side and then I'll be ready to put them on the joiner over here and uh, joint the sides of them. Alright getting ready to use my joiner now I'm gonna um, pick the dust collection system up I need to get some kind of better setup than this but this is my dust collection bucket down here <clears throat> dust topper from Home Depot took to my shop back and of course the pipes universal pipes run to different things but i just have to unhook them and hook them again getting loud again but i'm fixing to do the planing on the uh fixing to do the joining on the boards i just did have both sides um came out pretty smooth looks good wood but i'm gonna joint this now so when i join them together they'll come to an even uh but together is real good all right it's kind of loud back here. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna see where my blade is set on. I think it's pretty good right where it's at. I'm gonna run these slides through. <laughs> Brand new piece of wood, nice and straight. This is just like out of the store. If it didn't have nail holes in it, you would be able to tell the difference. But um, all right, cabinet is complete as far as the build goes. Um, I just got to stain it now. At the bottom, these are the pieces I cut out of pallet wood, right here, and then I uh, 40, 40 degree angled them, got them on the router, and cut this little groove into them all the way around. Um, back side of it, and then uh, put these little strips on here. Just sort of round it off at the sides there. Then at the top, I've got the pallet wood also that's got the uh, the border around it. And then, um, like I said, there go the strips down that way. But one other thing I'm going to do probably is I'm going to run a small strip across right here. Um, Probably something like this right here, but I'm going to trim it down some. Give it a little bit more decorative look. And then uh, these are the backboard. This is the backing of the cabinet I, I was showing earlier about the pallet wood. Planing it down, and there's the back of it. Screwed in from the back. But um, next is just the, I guess there's two pieces of trim on these shelves right here. And then... Um, I'll be staining it 
And then I'll start with a six foot shelf. This is a three. This is the three foot shelf for the ladies.